Uh, Sacramento State's football team has just made a big uh, announcement. Yeah, CBS 13 Sports Director Marshall Harris live this morning with a big update <sighs> on the future, at least the near future, of the yeah, program. Yeah. Marshall. Guys, we have been excited about college sports coming back for a while now. You've seen it all over the country. The SEC, the ACC, the Big 12, other conferences making big strides forward. The Pac-12 getting ready to start up football. But a different story here on the campus of Sacramento State where just this morning the school announced there will be no spring football. It was going to be a shortened season for the defending Big Sky champions. Instead, there will be no spring football. Coach Troy Taylor citing... Uh, really, one of the big things is health reasons. You know, the quick turnaround from spring to fall, that's a, a no-go in their minds in terms of what football, not just a contact sport, but a collision sport provides. Uh, I just talked to athletic director Mark Orr yesterday about monitoring some of the things that are going on in college football with Alabama head coach Nick Saban contracting the COVID-19 virus. Here's what Mark Orr had to say about how the school was looking at the possibilities of playing in the spring. Um, we all need to take the pandemic very seriously and uh, and wearing masks and social distancing um, until there's a until there's a vaccine it, it's out there and, and we've got to take every protocol uh, possible our first and foremost uh, our interests are the health and well-being of our student athletes and um, we will continue to put that in, in every decision or how we how we do our work here at, at our university um, that will always be a priority so again, the big news here, there will be no football season for the defending Big Sky champions, the Sacramento State Hornets. Now, it's not all bad news, though, on campus. One season ends before it even begins, but one season beginning in earnest today, we welcome in <laughs> Sacramento State head men's basketball coach Brian Katz. He's clapping because we're so excited that we get to practice and play basketball. Th th this is the first day of practice. You've had guys in working out with masks on uh, individually at stations, but today you get to roll the basketball out there and say, it's time for basketball. How excited are you and how excited do you think your players are? Oh, we're, we're so excited we can't see straight. I, my staff, we were talking about it. We said, hey, it'll probably be pretty ugly. I said, hey, ugly's beautiful to me today. I'm telling you right now, ugly's going to be beautiful. Any kind of basketball is going to be beautiful. So we're excited. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you uh, the news today about the football team. Uh, how much of a damper does that put on a, a day like this, which is supposed to be the start of something beautiful, as you said? You know, uh, I, don't, I always I said from day one, I always defer to the experts, and I think the experts in this situation feel like with the quick turnaround, it would put our, our guys at risk, so I, I'm good with that. Um, you know, certainly you always would want everybody to play, but from day one, you've got to keep the student athletes' health at the forefront. Tell me what the biggest difference has been for you in getting ready for this season compared <laughs> to anything else you've experienced. All right, I have written on my board, and I look at it every day before I start, it's three things. It says, be nimble flexible and creative that's the bottom line you got to be nimble flexible and creative because the variables change like crazy and you guys are going to have an abbreviated season what's going to be interesting is you're playing games against all your conference opponents but you're going to not see some of these teams but twice and they'll be at the same site for both the games explain that to me well what our conference decided is again cost cutting to you know save t time on the road and also money is you play the same team back-to-back -back games in other words December 3rd we have University of Idaho here December 5th we have University of Idaho here so we'll play the two games with them here we won't go to Moscow Idaho however we will go to Montana State when we go there we'll play them twice so Montana State will not come here it's the same it's still 20 league games you play everybody twice and I always say they're all neutral court games this year anyways because really no fans when you look at the, the, the goals and what you're trying to do here as a head coach, you're a newly minted uh, guy who's got a contract extension, <laughs> feeling great about yourself. What are you trying to accomplish here, and how challenging do you foresee this being? Although, to be fair, everyone will have the same challenges as, as a basketball team. Totally agree with that. It's, it's all going to be who's going to really be disciplined and have their players really buy into the following the protocol, limit positive tests, of course, keeping everyone safe, and then being able to adapt and adjust and, and handle adversity, which is always a big deal. My question is, do you still know how to use that whistle? Has it been that long? <laughs> uh, I've been practicing. <laughs> okay, so, so Coach Katz has been practicing. We've got basketball coming up here on the campus of Sacramento State. Again, uh, the games, they don't start for another 40 days or so, but it's big that you, you, this gym is going to be used, guys. There are going to be teams. There's going to be the squeaking of basketball shoes. There's going to be probably some hard fouls. 
everything you love about basketball. I can't wait for it to happen. Uh, we're just excited. We're not allowed in the gym just yet. Uh -huh. But I, I, I got to tell you, local college basketball is back. UC Davis, their men and women went yesterday. The University of Pacific, their men and women went yesterday as well. So some bittersweet news here at Sacramento State. No football coming up this spring, but basketball just around the corner. Just around guys. the corner. Uh, Marshall, you know how we uh, end every CBS uh, 13 sports segment uh, that we do live. We have to break down the upcoming Auburn game. Auburn versus <laughs> Ole Miss. What do you think, sir? Uh, it's Auburn. It's Ole Miss. Two teams that I can't despise. But, you know, I hate Ole Miss more because I'm a Mississippi State guy. Mm -hmm. So, I guess go Tigers? Yes! I guess. He did it! I guess that's what we're doing. I know that hurt you. I know that hurt you. <laughs> but we will take your go Tigers. Say it. Say War Eagle. Come Thanks, on. Thanks, guys. It. I really can appreciate it? it. Can you say it? Can you say War Eagle? You can do it. <laughs> uh, something about an eagle. Don't die, eagle, this weekend when you're taking all the <laughs> 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 Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. It's good to see you, man.